30, a tale of the tape, a red light lie leads to an arrest for a Sweetwater police officer. It all stems from a traffic crash that, as you saw, was caught on camera. That's right. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana first broke this story last July, and now we have exclusive video of the cop being taken into custody. Officer Alejandro Ramos is the passenger in this law enforcement SUV, arriving at the jail to be booked on a charge of official misconduct Monday afternoon. But last year, he was the driver of a Sweetwater police cruiser when it blew through this red light on the way to a nearby police scene on West Flagler Street. Yo tengo la, la verde. I have the green light. He's the one who was supposed to stop. The driver of the pickup truck, Giobel Diaz Gonzalez, was cited for the crash, and the FHP report at the time said the officer told investigators he, quote, stopped at the red traffic signal and proceeded through the intersection using due care. But the video appears to contradict that. When CBS4 started asking questions last summer, the police chief watched the video, and an internal investigation began. The arrest affidavit obtained by CBS4 News says Ramos, quote, falsified an official statement while on duty as a police officer to Florida Highway Patrol for the official document of a crash report. It's an unfortunate day whenever we have to take into custody one of our own. However, when one uh, breaches the public trust, one has to be held accountable. Chief Placido Diaz promised to take a closer look at the department's hiring practices when it came to light Officer Ramos had a history of traffic crashes while on duty, including four minor accidents in a five-month span while with the South Miami Police Department. Ramos resigned in lieu of termination from that department. He's currently relieved of duty without pay from the Sweetwater PD as his case makes its way through court. Cover-ups are not tolerable nor will be the norm here in Sweetwater anymore. The other driver's citation was eventually overturned, but he told me at the time he spent more than $1,000 out of pocket to fix his car. Now, to be clear, Sweetwater policy says an officer must come to a complete stop at a red light, even if they're responding to an emergency call. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico and New York have repealed qualified immunity and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.